What's up, y'all? It's Janae DeVay, and I'm back again with another video. So this video is all about five ways you can romanticize your life. Now, let's clarify something, what romanticizing means in this video, because it's, it's a word that's thrown around, and I think in order to move forward and us to be on the same page, we have to understand how I'm using the term romanticizing. So... I made up this definition. It's what it means to me. It's what it's going to be in this video. Romanticizing your life. Oh, wait, first of all, shout out my journal. I am journal. I write in my notes. This is the proof copy original. I already said that in my last video. Link is in the bio if you're interested in journaling because journaling is very powerful and you want to have cute journals. It won't have this not for resale one. They come in this size and a little bit bigger. So if you like those and you think they're cute, check it out. So anyways. Romanticizing your life is about making the present moment so beautiful that you don't even want to think about the past or the future. You just are so in love with your current life right now, your current state, where you're doing, what you're doing right now, that you're in love with it. You fell in love with the present moment. And honestly, being in the present is really like how you live a joy-filled life. So I thought I'd bring you these tips. If you don't know, my channel is all about self-development, self-love, and glowing up and being your best self. I make workout videos as well as if you're interested in being an Amazon area manager. That's what I do. Um, yeah, I'm actually going there tonight. It is 4.48, so I got 12 minutes to film this video, but I want to make it short and sweet, to the point. Listen to it in the shower, whatever. But yeah, let's get into it. The first thing you can start romanticizing is romanticize your home make the place where you are you spend the most time at you can be at school this can be your dorm room make your bedroom i have a whole apartment make it beautiful make it give you the feels when you walk in when you walk in hit all five senses make it smell good make it look good make it taste good cook really good food here like see look what you look on the walls is like you have art on there that inspires you i like to have flowers i like to romanticize myself by like like having candles cute candles and flowers and it doesn't have to be expensive like weekly i go get some flowers for like 20 dollars or less or these candles 7.99 at ross or marshall's whatever just like make it feel good to be in the space that you spend the most time in because like I know growing up, if you grew up in a dysfunctional household like myself, like you didn't really have your own space. And I neglected the fact that now that I have my own space, I can make it my own and I can feel comfortable in there. And growing up, I never really felt comfortable where I lived. So like, that's something that I had to learn. And I would like go to college and I see all these girls like decorating their, their dorms, making it look cute. And I'm like, wow, that's nice. But I never really started incorporating it until now. And it just feels good to walk into a place that makes you feel good and it's yours and you can call your own and it has all the special things that you like about it. So that's the number one way is, you know, spruce up your home, your your number one place. Like make it look good, make it yours and make it beautiful to you. Number two is your job. Now don't get this confused with the career. We'll get to that later. Your job, romanticizing your job, like this is important because a lot of us are J-O-B or just over broke. You probably don't have the best set of emotions associated with your job, me included. I mean, I like Amazon, but I'm trying, I'm, I'm using these tips I'm giving you to romanticize it to make it fun. So in order to romanticize your job, like if you have a special area, a lot like your home, make it cute, make it your own, make it like special, make it fun, make it something like I like to bring flowers. Like I'm starting to bring flowers to my job because I like looking at flowers. They're just beautiful. They're like my number one favorite thing is flowers. And just like make it your own, like have relationships with people that are like on the same mindset as you and so when you go there to the job like they're doing the same thing and sometimes it might be hard if you have high turnover but be that light as well like to others because when you're that light it attracts other people it will attract some dusties and you know some light leeches <laughs> but if you're that light if you feel good if you're cute when you go there you feel like that girl like be the best one at your job because like if your work speaks for itself like you have that technical capabilities and then you look good like you are that me like you're the boss <laughs> no matter you may have a boss but you're the boss because like your boss 
he could end up coming or her she could end up coming to you because you have you look like you have your life together you romanticize you look you, your good attitude you're fun and you look like you enjoy being there and make it any way possible that you can be there and be present in the moment because people love like the mental clarity that you bring because they may not have it and having somebody else with mental clarity or mental peace gives them a little bit of peace and it's important to have that with yourself so you can share it you know if you don't have it you can't share it so romanticize your job by sprucing it up being a good person be prepared like get yourself in the right state of mind before you go in so that you're not a negative nancy or a debbie downer like nobody likes those people people are going to avoid you and then you're going to attract more dusties like you that you know what is the saying like there's always company and something like there's always company with misery there's always misery and company company and misery whatever but don't be that person find company and enjoy be the joy spread the joy number three is your career i made this one separate i did my nail they're cute i know but um number three is your career now your career is what you're passionate about it's what make gives you joy to just perform it it could be something that you're naturally good at or something that naturally makes you happy or it could be both find that mixture in your career do not get stuck in not being paid for it be stuck in the fact that you are doing something that you're passionate about and you're producing something that adds value to the world so when your career when you have a dream career the passion and fun that you get out of just performing that activities is all you need and then with that like over time it's inevitable that you're going to find a way to monetize it and get paid for it because you're just going to be so good at whatever it is you're going to hone in on it and eventually the joy that you get from performing the activities and seeing your own progress on projects that are from your raw creativity will pay off a tenfold a hundredfold so romanticizing your career is just like go after it like don't worry about being paid just if that was your job what would it look like and with all that freedom with all the freedom to choose what you want to do and how you're going to do it like it's just fun like it's fun in the process and if you just keep going after that and chasing something that your heart actually desires it really adds fuel to do the things that you don't necessarily want to do like your job it gives you full fuel to know that oh on my off days you know I started my business like I'm selling this product that I've been thinking about I'm starting this course like it pays off and it shows in the other areas of your life you know so romanticize it show up to your for yourself on your careers like show up for yourself as if like you're already successful 10 years from now you're a millionaire or a billionaire already your company is successful show up like that today and like romanticize it like be like i'm that girl like i'm the boss like i'm a business owner and show up like that what would they do what would they do think about it and then just do it and then knowing that you did that you took that little tiny step towards your future to help you in the future make you feel good and it's romanticizing because you're falling in love with who you're becoming because you're becoming the person you actually want to be instead of what society tells you to be next romanticizing relationship now this one's pretty straight to the point like but this is not just for significant others like i'm engaged but romanticizing your friendships as well like it's important to have girl friendships because you can talk to them about stuff that men necessarily won't understand like men will never have period cramps they'll never have to worry about um if they have to gain 10 pounds from being on birth control like and having that femininity like you're fuel like you're fueling each other's femininity and you can like be more feminine i like that because like i like to dress cute like i dress cute for myself at the end of the day because when i look good i feel good and i like to get myself pampered i like to get my nails done i like to get massages and facials and your man is probably not gonna want to do that with you so find some good friends that actually see the value and taking care of themselves and go do it together romanticize your relationships by you know giving gifts not just to your boyfriend or fiance or your husband but give them to your friends like make it traditions give traditions to your your friendships be the like the number one best friend you want to be be the best girlfriend like you can be because like when you know that you're giving in your all you kind of expect it back and if that person can't do it they usually feel like kind of they kind of phase their way out of your life and you really don't have to worry about it but like when you're giving your all people have nothing to do but match that energy or to fade away 
So why wouldn't you want the person on the other side of the relationship to give the most to you? So you should give the most to them. And be with people who make the moment feel good. Like, if you're with people and you feel drained being around them, you can't wait to get away from them or you're thinking about the past when somebody else made you feel good. Be with people who make the present moment feel good. Like, you can't, like, you don't want to leave hanging out with them. Like, you always want to hang out with them and they make, they do things that add value to their life. You have fun with them. Like, you know, they're helping you be a better person. They help you want to stay in the present moment instead of thinking about other things, having anxiety about the future or guilt about the past. Like, Make relationships with people that make right now amazing. That's my wah wah organ. Okay, I had to come back on here because I didn't finish the relationship one. In order to romanticize your actually romantic relationships, your intimate relationship with your significant other, the longer you're with each other, the the more you fall into the habit of not cherishing your time with each other. But you have to. You have to set time aside for date nights and giving them your full attention as if this is your first time meeting them because like, y'all can get used to each other and they might get boring but people are like onions <laughs> they like have a lot of layers so you better i'm at work obviously look at me <laughs> but um i hope my boss doesn't watch my youtube videos because i'm not supposed to be filming but anyways go on date nights spend quality time and Co- go at the situation with your significant other. Y'all could be together 10 years, 10 days. And go at go at it as if it's the first date. And I guarantee you, you will find something new. Like your whole, ma- like change your mindset about your significant other. Because I'm sure they'll appreciate it. And I'm sure you would appreciate it if they actually find you interesting still. So when it comes to romanticizing your romantic relationships, spending quality time, giving gifts, finding their love language, and treating them that way. That's a big one. It sounds easy, but it's harder than it sounds. Like, knowing what their love language is and then actually, like, loving them that way takes a lot of emotional maturity. But it'll romanticize your romantic love. That's it. And then the last one is to romanticize your body. Dread, like, I was was watching this video and it was talking about why do black women not, like, dress up their body like why do we not decorate their body like you decorate things you're proud of you decorate your home like you wouldn't want just like to walk in with white walls and like a couch and you know no books like nothing that tells us it's you nothing that adds personality or character to your home do the same thing with your body no matter what that looks like your hair your nails makeup your skin like your clothes romanticize it do what makes you feel good like adding a little bit of makeup if you don't like makeup whatever but practice it like see how it feels like change your hairstyle change new color but honestly the more you're naturally beautiful and the more you play up what you naturally have the more beautiful you become but romanticizing it your body as well is taking care of it and making sure treating your body like a temple and making sure whatever you ingest or whatever goes inside is good for it because like you don't want to poison your body with alcohol or overuse of drugs and all that stuff. Like, it's not good. You want to treat your body like the temple it is. And what you go in, what goes in, comes out in some way. And that includes watching, you know, reality TV shows or toxic videos or world star hip hop or all that crap. That includes ingesting hours and hours of social media that it doesn't add value. And start ingesting videos like this where you're learning about something start ingesting water make sure you're drinking your water if you have like a heavy appetite you're probably not drinking enough water and when you eat whole foods that are fresh you feel more energetic as opposed to when you eat fried chicken and fries literally i just did that the other day and i felt gross it tasted delicious but i felt so like groggy like It doesn't feel good going to the gym, going on walks outside. Black people don't get enough vitamin D anyway because we naturally have melanin that kind of like is a block against it. Go outside. There's something about being grounded and connected to nature that's just all around like good for you. So take care of your body. Romanticize it. Take showers. Put some flower petals in there. Put some oils in there. Smell stuff. Make sure you smell good. Make sure you feel soft. Make sure you look good. Like tantalize all the senses when you're around somebody like intellectual knowledge as well like 
people love to have good conversation. Like me, I love to have good conversation. Like that was one of my biggest turn-ons about my fiance is that I feel like I can talk to him about anything. And that's still like what turns me on the most. And just having that all around encompassing is what makes up your body and how it is presented to the world. So present yourself with pride and joy and you know, it'll come back to you. So that's all I have for today's video today I, I really like this video like romanticize your life like just i've been just trying to live what i'm preaching and then whatever not preaching but like talking about and i feel like the more i talk about it the more it's the easier it becomes for me to live it out so i encourage you to talk about it as well like talk to your friends about it talk in the comments down below about it like did i miss anything like is there anything you're gonna take away from this like is there stuff that you're already doing that you really like to do like tell me how this video made you feel because welcome to the community if you like this video subscribe to the tribe because it's really all fun over here i upload videos two times a week and they are on monday and friday or saturday monday or friday or saturday or maybe three times a week who knows but yeah subscribe to the tribe like this video comment and i'll see you in the next one peace